Hey guys, it's Jack Jack and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going over the ColourPop Disney Villains collection, which I am so stoked about. And fun fact, I already tried filming this video, like the intro part, but then I just got a little too carried away with how obsessed I am with the packaging. <gasps> Whoa, like the artwork is just insane. So cool. Oh, the artwork is just so cool. Oh my God, this is so cool. Like this packaging. Oh, oh, you guys just opening it. The packaging is unreal. Oh my gosh, look at how cool the inside packaging is. So pretty. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I'm getting distracted. Like this neon design. Oh, look at Ursula. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I know I sound like a broken record, but look at the packaging. It's so crazy cool. Would you guys want to see a ColourPop Disney villain planner spread with the packaging? Ah, I'm so excited. Ah! So now that I got that out of my system, I have the products laid out here and I want to go over everything in a more kind of organized way with you guys. And then I'll show you guys a tutorial at the end. So if you're interested in diving into this collection a little deeper with me and you want to see me come up with a look featuring these products, then just keep on watching. But of course, before we jump into the video, if you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Jack Jack. Make sure you hit that red subscribe button and the little bell so that way you are notified of future videos and you officially become part of the Little Flower family. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into the video. Ah! Okay, my thoughts are still very much scattered, but we're gonna try and be a little more organized this time around. So I do want to share swatches. I said the first time I filmed this, I said, I'm not gonna share swatches. I'm not gonna do like swatches of everything. Just go watch somebody else's video. And then I'm like, how lazy and rude of me is that? So we're gonna do swatches. They actually sell the whole PR set, which I thought was so cool because before that, I've only seen Wet n Wild do that, but apparently ColourPop does that with all of their collections. So they had two different versions. They had the main one with like the fancy box that comes in and everything like that. I think that was like $250. And then you can buy every product in the collection individually without the box, like without that fancy PR box. And that was $50 cheaper. So I was like, I don't need that box. Like I'm just going to recycle it anyway. So I really don't need to spend that additional $50 for that. I just want the product. So that's what I picked up. If it's still available online, I'll leave it linked below. I, I'm not sure I haven't gone on the website. Anywho, I'll leave it linked below if I can find it. So you have this whole collection like as a whole, but within the collection, each Disney villain has their own little like sub collection, if that makes sense. So we have like the six Disney villain sets and then you have the eyeshadow palette and the two body glitters. So these two are like the odd balls out and everything else kind of goes together. So let's go ahead and dive in to each Disney villain. Let's start with the evil queen. This is the super shock highlighter in fairest of all. Let's do a, ooh, ooh, that's so soft and creamy. Ah. Oh my goodness gracious, that is beautiful. So this highlighter is like a beautiful kind of yellow gold highlighter. And then the Jelly Much Shadow for the Evil Queen is called Cursed. Check that out. A little goes a long way with these Jelly Much eyeshadows, but it's basically another like yellow gold um, that matches the highlighter. It I feel like this has like a slight green undertone to it because it's a little bit different looking than the highlighter, but still super, super pretty gold cream shadow. So for the Luxe lipstick for the Evil Queen, it's, oh, it's just called Evil Queen. And this is a matte lipstick. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Look at that beautiful red right there. It's slightly a pinky red. And then the gloss, this is the Ultra Glossy Lip. This is in Bad Apple. Here is what Bad Apple looks like. Obviously, it's going to complement the matte lipstick very well because it's in the same like sub collection. So here are the colors for the Evil Queen, which I think are awesome. Obviously, you had to have the red for like the apple, the red lips, and I think the golds are really nice um, complementary colors to the red. So I think they did a good job with the Evil Queen. Oh my god, I did the dumbest thing ever. So I was reapplying the swatches to get a close-up for you guys and I broke 
the lipstick in half. I broke the lipstick in half and it dropped on the floor. Oh my gosh, I'm so sad. Honestly, this is equivalent to dropping your brand new iPhone on the ground right when you take it out of the packaging. So now that my heart has broken into two, let's go ahead and move on to the next Disney villain, which is Cruella de Vil. Here is what the highlighter looks like. Oh my gosh. Why am I just dropping everything? I feel like I'm so clumsy today. This is called You Idiots, You Fools, You Imbeciles. Okay, it looks white here, but when you swatch it, it's more warm. Um, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, that's different. When you tilt it to one edge, it looks like white and frosty. And then when you tilt it, it looks warm and pink. And the Jelly Much eyeshadow for Cruella is called Perfectly Wretched. So this one looks more like the highlighter in the pan. It's just like a white, frosty, kind of silvery look. And it has like different glitter reflex in there. There's like green and purple. It's, oh, that's really pretty. Moving right along, the lipstick is called Cruella. So all the lipsticks are just named after the Disney villains. So the Cruella lipstick, this is actually a cream lipstick. Let me not break this one though. OMG, that red is such a good red. Kind of blue red, but it's like slightly like orangey at the same time. Like this is such a perfect perfect red. And then the lip gloss to go with it is called Puppies. Oh, this lip gloss is so pretty and it will literally work on any lip color you want to use. You can wear it by itself or put it on top of the red if you wanted. It's a clear gloss, but it has like some champagne golden reflex to it. It's really pretty. Overall, I feel like the colors make sense for Cruella de Vil. Like the red is so perfect. This, um, the Jelly Much Shadow, I think is awesome. It kind of reminds me of Cruella's hair. The lip gloss, I think, is so beautiful. However, I don't really see it, how it ties in that much with the rest. And then the highlighter, I think, is so unique. But overall, I think the Cruella collection is really pretty. Moving along to Hades, which is one of my favorites. Um, I don't know why, I just, I love his character so much. He's like the one Disney villain you just can't take serious. I think he's so hilarious. So here is what the highlighter looks like. This is called Everybody's Got a Weakness. And this color actually looks very similar to the Cruella color. They actually look very, very similar. The Jelly Much shadow for Hades is called I Owe You. Or no, sorry, I Own You. That makes more sense. <laughs> this is kind of like an orangey fire red. The Hades lipstick is a cream lipstick. Oh, this is such a pretty nude. Oh, this nude color is my cup of tea. And finally, the ultra gloss lip for Hades is called Hot Headed. And it looks like this, which again is a warm, this is like a peachy, warm color. It's really pretty, but again, this collection of colors doesn't really make sense for the character Hades, in my opinion. Moving right along to Ursula. So the Super Shock highlight for Ursula, oh, this looks so cool, is called Poor Unfortunate Souls. And of course, it is a purple tone highlighter, which just totally makes sense for Ursula. There is what it looks like. Other than costume looks, I don't really know how often I would wear this. The Jelly Much shadow for Ursula is called Just Your Voice, and it is this beautiful blue color. Oh my gosh, I'm dying. They're like, it's like wet and spongy. This color, ah, it's so perfect. Ugh, I'm obsessed. And let's see, Ursula's lipstick is a matte lipstick. And it is a dark vampy purple. Check that out. And then the gloss is called Sad But True. And it looks like a white gloss. This one is pretty different from the others because it doesn't have any sparkle or um, like glitter in it. It's just like a white kind of clear gloss. But I think this collection of colors for Ursula is pretty spot on actually. Moving right along with the villains, we have Dr. Facilier, and here is the highlighter called Meet Me on the Other Side. So this one looks um, very bronzy, 
the darkest one so far. And for the Jelly Much shadow, we have Not Today. And it's this really pretty green. Ooh, check out this gorgeous like emerald green. Oh, I love it. And it has like gold glitter reflex in it. The lipstick for Dr. Facilier is a cream lipstick. And it looks like this. Ooh, this is like a perfect like brownish nude color. Oh, I love that. And the ultra glossy lip is called Shadow Man. And here is what it looks like. I really, really, really dislike these type of applicators for lip glosses. Cause look at the little hairs are already getting messed up because you can't like, and you can't really fix it when you put it in. Once it gets all frayed, it's just like your SOL. But there is what the colors look like. I think these are beautiful colors. They complement each other really, really nicely. Again, since I haven't watched Princess and the Frog, I don't know if these like capture the character of Dr. Facilier. You guys let me know. But I think these colors are beautiful. And last but not least, we have Maleficent. So here is the highlighter. Oh, this is just so cool. This is called Mistress of All Evil. Here's what the highlighter looks like. And let's check out a swatch of this bad boy. This is pretty. This is like a champagne silver type of color. Like there's a silver hint to it, but it's more of like a peachy champagne type of color. This is really pretty. I think this is my favorite highlighter out of all of them. For the Jelly Much Shadow, it's this beautiful purple color called Spindle. This is like gorgeous. It's like a purple purple. Like the color is there, but like in some lights, it looks very soft and almost like champagne-y. I don't know. I don't know if I'm doing a good job describing that. But I think that's absolutely gorgeous and it's like a lighter purple and the luxe lipstick of course is called maleficent and this is a cream lipstick oh my gosh this is like a beautiful pinky berry color oh that's really pretty and then the ultra glossy lip is called my pet it's a clear gloss with purple glitter in it like purple silver glitter reflex in it i think these colors are beautiful what do you guys think do they do Maleficent justice? I love the purple, don't get me wrong, but I think a green for Maleficent along with the purple would have been like really, really cool. Overall, with each Disney villain, I think they did a pretty good job other than Hades. I feel like that one is so off. I, I kind of see what they're trying to do, like the red tones, the warm tones, kind of like fire, like hell. But in the movie, it's all very cool toned. Like the fire in the movie is blue and the flames on his hair is blue. So like, it just doesn't make sense. Blue, like the, even the packaging on the outside, blue and purple, like cool tone colors. Yet all we have here is warm colors. So that's a little weird. So that was all of these sub collections of each Disney villain. And then we have the two um, Glitterly Obsessed. So using like a big chunky glitter like this um, that's designed for the body isn't actually safe for your eyes because of the shape and the size of it. They're too big so if it gets in your eye, I mean it can irritate, I don't know, blind you, I, I don't know. It's just not safe to use on the eyes and I'm like why, why would you do that color pop? And then of course we have the misunderstood palette which we can finally dive into now and create a look. I'm so excited, I don't even know what we're gonna do, but I'm excited. When I first look at this palette, the purple is what catches my eye right away, probably because it's right dead in the center, and purple is also one of my favorite colors to play around with for eyeshadow. So I feel like I kinda wanna do a look with the purple. Okay, so as always, I love starting out with a basic crease color. So let's, I'm trying to see if do I want tragic or devious. Let's go with Devious. I'm gonna use this as my transition color in the crease. I'm gonna take that on a big fluffy brush. Okay, first shadow, here we go. Woohoo. So I'm just going to work this into my crease, kind of going back with like circular motions and then windshield wiper motions. Perfect, so now I'm gonna go in with a standard blending brush and I'm gonna take the color Sing right here, which looks really cool. So I'm gonna place this 
the outer corner and go ahead and blend that into my crease. That's a lot darker than I was expecting. So I'm just gonna work on blending that out in the crease. I'm gonna go back in with that first brush that I used. Was it this one? Just kind of blend out the edges with that transition color. I think this is the type of shade that if you don't use it carefully, it can easily make your whole look very muddy. And I kind of feel like we're almost there. Okay, I want to use one of the Jelly Mutt shadows. So we're gonna take Spindle from Maleficent's collection. And I think I wanna try and use this as a base for the purple eyeshadow that I wanna use. So I'm gonna pick this up on a brush. Oh, that's so pretty, what the heck. Holy macaroni. Oh, that's, be still my heart. That's so pretty. So I almost don't even wanna try this because I think that purple already looks so beautiful, but I still wanna take this purple, which is called Forest of Thorns, and I'm going to pack that right on top. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty. That just made it a more like vibrant, intense purple. I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I want to try and take this green color, which is Facil, I think that's how you say it. I'm gonna take that on kind of a small, like it's bigger than a pencil brush, but smaller than a blending brush. It's like in between both. I'm, uh, I wanna put this on the outer corner, see what happens. Lots of fallout happens, that's what happens. But I wanna see if I can put this like pop of green on the outer part. Kind of blend it in with that purple. Okay, not not my best move here, but it's okay. So we have something like that, where it's not like full on green green, but it like kind of add, added this smokiness to the look. I feel like these two colors are just, they turn out to be very muddy looking on the eyes. Like that green, like that doesn't even look like anything from the pan. I don't know, not super thrilled, but let's go ahead and take no spots and use that as a little brow bone highlight over here. I'm gonna sweep that on the inner corner too. So now moving on to the lower lash line, I wanna add more color to this look and I think I wanna do like blue and then green. I think that's what we're gonna do. And I'm gonna take the two Jelly Mutt shadows. This is the Ursula one called Just Your Voice and then the Dr. Facilier Not Today one. We're gonna run this on the lower lash line. Just the inner half, like that. So I have that blue down, so I'm gonna go back into the Misunderstood palette and, oh, you know what? These blues are not, there's like this blue, which is Jetsum, and then the Fates over here. This is like a matte royal blue, and this is more of a, I don't know, it just looks like it's going to be muddy like these, and I just, I don't think that's what I want to put right there. Kind of like how it's brightening up this look. So I'm actually, I'm just going to leave that. Now going in with Not Today Jelly Mutt Shadow, we're going to brush this on the outer part of our lower lash line and just blend it in with that blue. So there's what it looks like on the lower lash line, and I love it. And I feel like the green we tried to apply on the outer part once I went back and like blended it in with the crease color, I feel like we completely lost that green shade. So I am going to take the same brush and a little more of the Not Today Jelly Mutt Shadow and just kind of drag it onto the outer part of my eyelid, connecting it with the lower lash line at the same time. So it's kind of just all goes together. Oh my gosh, I just went in to add a little bit more of the blue and like just look at that, it's just like <laughs> So I'm gonna go off camera real quick, do my eyeliner, mascara, all that kind of stuff and I will be right back and we'll finish off with the highlight and the lips. So part of me like wasn't thrilled with how this eyeshadow look came about but I feel like once you add false lashes it kind of turns any eyeshadow look into a work of art. So. I'm pretty okay with it. I love the blue and the purple. I just, the whole green 
aspects of this look it was just kind of like a thumb down for me I think it looks a little weird and awkward but anyways the eyes are done let's finish off the face the highlighter well the Maleficent one um, mistress of all evil this is definitely my cup of tea right here but with this purple look I think using Ursula might be fun as well so let's do a little doubling up with both of these I want to first start with mistress of all evil take a little bit of that oh wait isn't this more of like a creamy type of highlighter I don't know if a brush will work so let's see maybe we'll have to like load up the brush like really load it up on here you can kind of see it it's oh, okay there we go that's not bad but I think these apply best with your hand because of the formula of it Okay, let's go in with the purple now. Ooh, I see it. Ooh, that purple is actually that's more wearable than I was expecting. That's really pretty. Ooh, I like this. And you can apply it with a brush, but you have to like really load it up. Let's just do a little bit on the tip of the nose. Down the bridge. And Cupid's bow for the lips we've got a lot of red colors here in this collection so I feel like I want to go with the two nudes which is Dr. Facilier and Hades let's start with Dr. Facilier that felt really weird applying that with no lip liner now I'm gonna go in with Hades on the center of my lips I think that's a really pretty lip combination I want to add a little bit of purple to it so the um, Ultra Glossy Lip in My Pet, which is from Maleficent, it looks like it has purple undertones to it, so let's try this gloss right on top. So here is the completed look. It's not my favorite look that I've ever done, but I'm not mad about it either. I think it's still like, it's really fun. I think the lip combo looks really pretty, however, I, I'm not crazy about the gloss because number one, I do not like the applicator, and number two, it's very goopy. Like, maybe these work better on the matte lipsticks, but like the cream lipstick plus the ultra gloss on top, like, my lips just feel super goopy right now. Ooh. I mean, is this what the body glitter is for? Because, I mean,. It looks kind of cool, but I wouldn't do this on the daily. Okay, I'm just going like glitter crazy right now. So that's it for this look. Let me know what you guys think of it. Did I go a little too crazy with the glitter over here? I think I did a little bit. My overall first impression is that the Jelly Much eyeshadows are the bomb diggity. I'm absolutely obsessed with them. The three that I used at least. I think they're gorgeous and I love how easy they are to work with. They're so pigmented and bright, so it's just like an easy way to add a pop of color to your look or use it as a base like how I did with the purple. I think it's beautiful. The eyeshadow palette, I mean, I know I didn't use that many colors here. The matte was a fine basic matte. The purple, beautiful. The two shades down here that I used though were so Especially this Sing one. Ugh, I don't like this color at all. They're just very muddy looking. And I get it, we don't always want like vibrance in every single palette. We need some like muted down colors, but I just don't like the way these blend. And I just have a feeling like this whole bottom row is just a no-go for me. I also really, really love the body glitters. I'm just so disappointed that they're not eye safe. I really wish they were because I don't know how else to use these. I know I put it here on the side of my face, but I think I look kind of stupid. So I need to know, how would you guys use these? I think it's the coolest formula ever. But again, I'm just lost on how how to apply it, where to apply it, when to apply it. I just, I don't know when I would use this. I think the highlighters are really beautiful as well. Um, they're a, the Super Shock highlighters, they're like a spongy, soft, creamy highlight. So, and they apply really, really nicely. And they, I think they work best when you use your finger or maybe a sponge. The lip products, you guys. I'm not crazy about the lip products. I don't, I know I only applied this one lip gloss, but ugh, that's so goopy and gross. Like the cream mixed with the gloss, I think 
is really gross. But I've always been very picky about like lipsticks and lip glosses together. Because mm, even like the Desi X Katie collaboration with Dose of Colors, those lipsticks mixed with the lip gloss, like from the same collection, putting them together, I think they feel so goopy and gross. But separately with other products, I think they're great. So maybe that's what's gonna happen with these. The cream ones, I should not use a lip gloss on top because that's just way too goopy. So honestly, I feel like these ultra glossy lips would work best with a matte lipstick underneath or like even a liquid lipstick. I think then I would maybe like this more, but these two combined, I think it looks pretty, but it doesn't feel nice on my lips. It feels, whew. In my honest opinion, I do like this collection, but I feel like it was slightly overhyped. I'm not crazy about the palette. Um, the only thing I'm really crazy about are these Jelly Much shadows. These I really do like. Everything else is kind of just so-so for me. I don't know, you guys let me know what you think. Have you tried this collection? Have you tried part of this collection? Let me know your experience. I think the packaging, amazing. And I really think that's what sold everybody on this collection was how freaking sick the packaging was. They really nailed it and they A++++ A++ because they did such a great job with that. I'm interested to hear your guys' experience with this collection in the comments below and also ColourPop in general because again, it's not a brand that I use very often. So if ColourPop is one of your favorite brands, I'd love to hear like um, what your favorite products are from them and all that kind of stuff because Right now, ColourPop to me, they're, they are an affordable brand, cruelty free, which I love both of those, but um, it's just kind of a so-so brand for me. <laughs> I feel like everyone loves ColourPop. Why do I not love ColourPop? I don't know what it is, you guys. I, I don't know what it is. But that's just my honest take on this collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I know it was a long one. And if you stayed till the end, leave me a comment letting me know that you watched till the very end because you are the best. Go ahead and leave a comment saying, I the best, because you the best for watching this super long video. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey guys. <clears throat> oh, la la for the. La, 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 la. That's what it's gonna take me forever to edit. What else do we have? Ah! Oh, the, this one's missing a sticker. You guys, that's not cool. So, I don't like this shirt at all. I bought this shirt from, I think, Nordstrom Rack. Um, and I bought it for Beauty Under His Eyes. And after that event, I looked up the pictures and I'm like, why did I get that shirt? It's not even cute. Like, And Johnny said I look like a football player. Like These look like shoulder pads or something. So he's not a fan of this shirt, but for this collection, I thought it kind of just, it just went with it. <laughs>